Well, we can sell our imagery. Um, there's lots of commercial applications. Um, I, I mentioned a few, um, agriculture, consumer mapping. Are people buying it now? They pay Absolutely. a license people, fee? People are buying that imagery today. And uh, uh, you know, we think that there's a huge and expanding market. Um, basically, no one's been able to get access to earth imaging. It's been the province of big governments and big companies. And, and by, by making more of it, uh, we're serving a lot of other people as well. Uh, this sounds like a, probably a silly question, but for search and rescue, is this going to become something that, you know, when a plane is lost or yes. somebody's lost, is, is search and rescue going to actually be done by satellite instead Absolutely. of planes eventually? Absolutely. In fact, you know, when you see these, these news situations of a missing plane, I mean, this should not ever happen again. I mean, by scanning the earth every day, you, you, you will find every missing plane. Unless it goes straight into the water and then sinks, yeah. you, can, you can find these planes. Did they um, contact you about MH370 or was it too... Yes, they did. They, they, and this was too early for us and we hadn't really put our looks out. But if that happened again, we should be able to really help. And, but uh, also other kinds of disasters. I mentioned the earthquake in, in Nepal and how we had helped out with that. Now, today, there's been an earthquake in Indonesia, eight, uh, eight oh. uh, on the Richter scale. And so we're already scanning our imagery to see if we can help out with the disaster response there. Not only is it important to have the imagery quickly afterwards, which we can do, it's also important important to have the imagery from, the, from recently before. So in the Haiti situation, they, 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 everyone's scrambling to take imagery afterwards, but then they realize that the previous most recent satellite image was taken five years ago. And so they didn't have an apples to apples comparison of what had happened, what was because of the earthquake and what was because of, the, uh, 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 of just time and they've added. Stuff. Are you going to make this available to like developers and founders in the room via API at some point and start doing hackathons and being like, hey, yeah. here's all our imaging, go to okay. town. Totally. In fact, uh, we've already started to have some of those things, and uh, we really encourage everyone that's interested in this. You can go onto our website. It's just planet.com. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that cost you a million can, bucks. <laughs> and you can... Good domain. Yeah, it's a pretty good domain. We also have planet.org. And you can sign up there uh, to become a user of our data. It's sort of in beta testing mode at the present time, you, but you can sign up. And, and the idea is that there's so many applications of this data. I mean, we, we've listed hundreds of thousands, yeah. detecting fires, you know, helping agriculture. You know, there's, there's just zillions of little examples. And so we want everyone to come in and play with that data and help us to create um, the applications that would ex extract the relevant data. Hey, everybody, let me take a moment to tell you about GoToMeeting, which I use all week long. Yes, I'm meeting all the new potential incubator companies and looking at their products, and I do it. I've taken my meeting game to the next level with GoToMeeting. It is so easy to use. I recommend it wholeheartedly. I've used it for years. It's so easy to collaborate with clients and colleagues from anywhere. And so, be a meeting MVP no matter where you are. You can use your phone, you can use your tablet, you can use your desktop. It's so easy to uh, get these meetings going because you know you can just do it with one click. I have it in a Chrome toolbar in my Google Calendar. I put something in my Google Calendar or somebody else puts it in mine. One click, I add a go-to meeting and then everybody just clicks on the link and magically everybody's in there, perfect voice over IP or they can dial in. Um, it works so well. And one of the little features that I love to use is I will have my executive assistant on the phone with me taking notes. You can also record the call, and we of course do that sometimes if we wanna take notes, and there's a little chat room in there so I can chat with people and take notes, and I give startups my notes, my candid notes on what I think of their companies. So all these great little features, and one thing I love is I always have one or two people who are calling in, they're on the road, they've got noise, they don't know how to mute their phone, they forgot their headset. You, if you're in control of the meeting, can mute the participants. So you ever be on one of those phone calls and somebody's like in a wind tunnel, and you're like, who's doing that? Well, you can just go mute, boom, if you're the conference organizer. It works so beautifully. Those are my little tips for you. Um, screen sharing and passing it off to other presenters, another wonderful thing. I'll have a meeting with two or three people and we'll pass the presentation one from one to the next. It just works. It's so easy for you to step up your meeting game. So I want you to do this right now. It's time for you to put out your best performance. Go ahead and be the meeting MVP of your next meeting. Just start your 30-day trial at gotomeeting.com. Click the Try It Free button. That's, once again, go to gotomeeting.com and click the Try It Free button. You are going to love it. I use it all the time. It gets my highest, highest rating. I love GoToMeeting. Okay, let's get back to this episode.